President Woodrow Wilson said, we are not put into the world to sit still and know. We are put in it to act. As the nation's official memorial to the 28th President of the United States, the Wilson Center is inspired by his vision of international cooperation for the greater good. Our job at the Wilson Center is to help see around corners, to identify and assess critical issues so policymakers can tackle tough problems with sound information free from spin. Rather than a collection of marble pillars and famous quotes, the center is a living memorial to President Wilson and builds upon his legacy by linking scholarship and public policy. It is a gathering place for both the thinkers and the doers. Each year, the center welcomes over 150 of the best and brightest experts from around the world to conduct independent and original research in Washington. Our aim? To help inform and improve policymaking. There are a range of social science experts in the academic community that have developed some really new and interesting uh, theoretical work related to how do we think about nuclear and biological threats. The book I'm working on is, is tentatively called The Shadow War, and it's a look at American counterterrorism uh, since the September 11th attacks. There's really uh, an emergence of collaboration in the clean energy space um, with China because China has become a leader in many clean energy technologies. Well, I'm working on a project called Halfway to Freedom. It's a study of the African American people's epic uh, struggles here in the nation's capital. Basically, what I'm working on is it's a scenario for an Asia Spring in the wake of the Arab Spring. Democracy is built on the notion of an informed and active citizenry. The Wilson Center provides the robust research that makes this possible knowledge in the public interest and projects that information through a dynamic communication strategy. If what we're doing in our day jobs is writing that first draft of history, the Wilson Center is allowing me to write the second or third draft. In that way, the center contributes to the national discussion on important public policy matters of our time. The national conversation was wonderful because it brought together senior officials like Henry Kissinger, as well as diplomats who've been on the ground in some of these hotspots, and policy analysts from the State Department who are dealing in real time with how do you find solutions. The nearly two dozen topical and regional programs at the center work on a cross-cutting agenda. They advance the Wilson Center's mission as a living memorial by convening an ongoing series of conferences and meetings featuring high-level administration and congressional staff, well-known academics, and experts from the field. We started the, the work here on video games in 2003. Uh, we sort of coined the word serious games uh, to identify the genre of, of video or computer games that were being applied to serious purposes. Currently, we are focusing on the Arab Spring, the countries that were affected by the Arab Spring, and whether these countries will become democratic countries or not. For somebody my age to be able to sit in a room with the most influential female policymakers in the world um, was a great privilege and not something that I could have done without the council. Having provided both good and bad advice to secretaries of state over the years, I've grown to learn the importance of thinking before acting. Harnessing the wisdom of the scholar and the experience of the practitioner is critically important to produce the best U.S. policies. And the Wilson Center, through its convening power, through its presence in Washington, and through its fine scholarship, does precisely that. That's the plan. 